In this video we're going to look at how to find the tangents to an ellipse. We're going to look at situations where we want to find the um, tangent to an ellipse when we know a point on the ellipse and we also want to um, look at finding the tangent to a point that's not on the ellipse. But we are going to stick to um, points which are actually on either the major or the minor axes. OK, so for our first example, let's consider the equation um, x squared over 16 plus y squared over 9 equals 1. And we want to um, find the tangent at the point where x equals 2 and y is greater than 0. So the first thing we need to do is substitute 2 into this equation. Um, and then obviously that's the same as a quarter. We end up with y squared equals um, y squared over 9 equals 3 over 4 or 27 over 4. Square root both sides would be plus or minus this, but we've got y greater than 0. So we've got an x value and we've got a y value. The next thing we need is a gradient. So um, here obviously we've multiplied everything by 144 to give 9x squared and 16y squared and 144. If we differentiate this implicitly, now remember what happens. We're differentiating the respect to x, so this becomes 18x. This becomes 32y, but because it's with respect to x, we shove a dy by the x in the end and this becomes 0. Rearrange that and we get dy by dx equals minus 9x over 16y. We can substitute in this value of y and this value of x, and we get that the gradient is minus root 3 over 9, and now we just use y minus y1 equals mx minus x1 um, to get the equation of the line here. OK, so this is the money problem, finding the tangent to a point not on the ellipse. Now, um, I'm considering points that are either on the major or minor axis, and this one's on the major axis. Um, you can use exactly the same technique with a point that is not um, on the major or minus axis. It's just that the algebra is much more difficult, and we don't really have to consider doing that. So here we've got our ellipse, and we've got the point um, 8, 0. So um, the first thing we're going to do is rearrange the ellipse into this form here. It's not this important, it's just easier to deal with because we are going to differentiate this. The technique we're going to do is we're going to consider a point PQ and we're going to consider this point being on the ellipse. Now because it's on the ellipse it means the gradient at this point, which we're going to get by differentiating this and making it dy by dx equals, has also got to be equal between the um, equal to the gradient between this point and this point here. Another thing to um, bear in mind, if we substitute um, p for x and q for y, because this is on the ellipse, that would mean that 9p squared plus 16y squared equals 144. That will be important later on. I'll explain why when we get there. So here we go. We differentiate this. I've done it straight away. It was implicitly, but we did it on the last slide. There's nothing new there. We substitute in p and q, and we get the gradients of the tangent. It's going to be minus, uh, minus 9p over 16q. Now, the gradient between the point 8, 0 and pq is just q over p minus 8. So that's just... Um, changing y over changing x, and those have got to be um, equal to each other. So we end up with this. Now if we cross multiply and rearrange, we get 9p squared plus 16q squared equals 72. Now I said that would be important over here, that's 144. Now it does just happen, no matter what point you pick here, you're always going to get this bit coming in, and you can always use that substitution there. So that's helpful. That gives us 72p is 144, or p equals um, a half. Very easy to get q then from that situation. We can just substitute it back into here, and um, the p value to get our q value. We end up with q equals plus or minus 3 root 15 over 8. Now I leave it to you um, to do that, but effectively p squared is a quarter, so that's 9 quarters, that's 36. Take it away, divide by 16 and square root and write it in third form. So now we can use that value of p of a half and that value of q there um, in here to um, get the equation of the gradient. And we end up with, and I'll leave it to you again, 
and plus or minus the square root of 15 over 20. So now we've got a point. Now we can, we can use the point PQ, but obviously it's going to be easier to use the point 80 and a gradient or two gradients in this case where we can use y minus y1 equals mx minus x1 to get the equation of our tangent. So it's y minus 0. Well, that's OK. That's nice. Just y equals plus or minus the gradient square root of 15 over 20 x minus 8. In the description below you can find a link to a worksheet that has questions that you can try on your own. I hope you found this video helpful. Stay in infield with Winfield.